Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk, where we'll talk about info for the knife maker. In today's episode, an introduction to Mosaic Damascus. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to be doing some Mosaic Damascus, uh, some more Mosaic Damascus. I've done it in the past. We're going to do some more for some upcoming projects based on the voting that you guys did. Uh, my next um, build is going to be a Mosaic Damascus uh, Bowie. So let's get right to it, show you how to do Mosaic Damascus and see if you can create something beautiful. Okay, let's talk about Mosaic Damascus. So in mosaics, one of the important things that's different about other types of, of Damascus is that your billet, your layers, are going to be of different thicknesses, typically. In this example, and let's assume the dark here is your dark steel, like 1080, 1095, and the white is going to be your silver, or 15 and 20, whatever you're going to use. I'm going to have a couple thicker layers here. And that's what's actually going to make up the pattern, and you're going to see why. So I have started with this billet. I'm, I would put it in the forge. I would forge weld it, and then I would make a bar that is square and long. Then the next step I'm going to do is crush the corners. Okay, I'm going to compress the corners. Now you're going to do this by using squaring dies, or just turn it on its end on a 45 and just scr uh, crush the corners. The reason we're going to do that is because after this, the next step, we're going to crush it, obviously flip it, but we're going to crush it this way. And that's going to give us something like that. Okay, this is what's termed as C's because you can see these are kind of like C's here. Next step, so this is going to be a long bar. Okay, we're going to forge it into a long bar and then we're going to cut it up, forge it together. And this is how you'll get crushed W's, because you can see this is like a W here. Uh, note here that although I've drawn lines here, those lines actually won't be there. They'll just, these things will just like look like they merge together. The lines that I drew just to make it easier for me to draw it. So here I've got my crushed W's and one big billet. Now I'm going to crush this down back into a square, something like that. So now I've got a nice long square. Now's where it gets interesting. So now we're going to take this, we're going to turn it 45 degrees, and we're going to square the corners like we did here, but we're going to keep going, and we're going to completely re-square it on the diagonal. So you're going to get something like that. Now you can see it's starting to get interesting. We have some interesting pattern here, some movement, um, you know, it, it's starting to look kind of cool. This is a long bar. We're going to cut that in four. We're going to take the next one, put it here, and we're going to, sorry, here, and we're going to rotate it so all the dark is in the corner, or in the, in the center. Something like that. Now you can start to see how we're going to get our pattern. So this is our mosaic pattern. This is very similar to an explosion pattern, and guys, I haven't drawn this perfectly, but I think you get the idea of kind of what it could look like. And you see why it's important to put the different dark layers in. If I put a dark layer kind of in the middle, you would see another ring here. And that's how you get your different mosaic patterns. Another thing you can do is I could then forge this down to a long bar, cut it up again, and put four of them together, put two of them together, do some different combinations. Okay, but right now, I have a long bar with this pattern on the end. Okay, well, that doesn't do me any good like that, because I can't just forge this down flat, because I'll lose my pattern. So what we do is, we cut this bar into slices at about a 35 or 40 degree angle, okay? And then those pieces were going to lay flat and made up these edges, okay, like this. So now I've got this pattern here on the top. Okay, and then you're going to weld, weld this to a piece of mild steel, okay, kind of weld the thing, weld the ends, and then weld these seams, and then weld another piece on top. So it's completely sealed, and then re-flatten this, 
and that'll forge weld it. And that's why we do 35 to 40 degree angles here so that there's some overlap. So when we're pressing it with the forge, we're, uh, we can forge weld these. If obviously if this was a 90, our forge weld wouldn't work. So guys, that's the basics of doing mosaic Damascus. Obviously this is very, very difficult. I won't say impossible, but pretty close trying to do this by hand. You really need a power hammer or a press. Um, you'll see me do a pattern very similar to this in an upcoming knife. So stay tuned, but I wanted to give you guys an intro, how to do Mosaic Damascus and what are the basics of Mosaic Damascus. So I hope that introduction on Mosaic Damascus made sense. You're going to see some of it in practice in an upcoming build, so stay tuned for that. In this week's viewer knife, I wanted to show this knife from Keith Lawson, which I think is amazing. And this is a I think he said it's his fourth knife, but Keith's got a lot of experience with woodworking prior to this, um, but just amazing. Blows me away. He did a fantastic job on this, so Keith, amazing. Looks fantastic. I really, really like this dagger. Uh, and folks, if you have a viewer knife and you want to see it here on Tyrell Knifeworks, send it to me. It's the channel name at gmail.com. Uh, drop me an email. Send me a picture of your viewer knife, and maybe you'll see it here too. Thanks folks, um, join me on the next one where you'll see uh, this Mosaic Damascus in action and we'll see you on the next one.